you all how easy it is to make delicious chicken spaghetti. This chicken spaghetti is so delicious. Super easy to make. Doesn't require a lot of ingredients. If you make it Gina Young style, you're gonna love this recipe. Here are the ingredients you will need. You're gonna need some chicken. Now, when it comes to the chicken, you can use canned chicken, you can boil some chicken, you can use chicken that was left over from last night's dinner, or you could go out to your local market and purchase a rotisserie chicken as I did today. Okay, you will need spaghetti, of course. I like to use thin spaghetti. So I'm using about a pound and a half. You can use less if you would like to. I'm gonna be baking this recipe in a 12 by 10 baking dish. Okay, you're gonna need some cheese. If we make our way over this way, I have sharp cheddar. Use your favorite cheese. We have some milk here. Rotel, when it comes to the Rotel, you can use the mild. You're gonna need two cans or you can use the hot. We also have cream of chicken, and Velveeta cheese. You're gonna need some spices to make it taste good. We have salt, pepper, garlic powder, parsley flakes, and paprika. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this amazing chicken spaghetti, Jeannie Young style. One of the first things that you're gonna to need to do is get your chicken prepared. Whether that be you cook your chicken, or in my case, I'm taking the meat off of the chicken, okay? Well, the meat off of the bones. Get rid of the skin, of course, and then we're gonna discard of the bones. I love chicken spaghetti. Here's the thing, I'm just gonna be honest. If you're, you and your family members, you love chicken and you love spaghetti, this is a match made in heaven for you. Your whole family is going to love this recipe. How, listen, the recipe's cheap, doesn't cost you anything, right? Super easy to make, and you're not gonna be standing over the stove all day. It's kind of like you just whip everything together, throw it in the oven, and then you can relax until it's done. Okay, so I'm gonna show you in this video today how easy it is to make Gina Young style. So we're getting all of our chicken off just like so. I hope you all are having an amazing amazing day today. I would love to hear from you all in the comment section below. I want to know, have you ever heard of this recipe or have you ever tried it? If you decide to try it, you're gonna be so happy you did. So once I get all this chicken off of the bones, I'll be right back to show you what we're gonna do next and how the sauce is made. So now that we have our chicken nice and pulled apart, let's go ahead and take this time to chop up some of our Velveeta. This is a 16 ounce Velveeta. And what I wanna do is I wanna chop it into cubes so that it melts a little bit quicker, okay? So let's chop it into cubes, just like so. And we're gonna put it into our pan with milk, okay? This recipe does not require butter. I assume if you wanna use some butter, sure you can, but I don't use butter for this recipe. So let's take our beautiful cheese that we have here. We're gonna put it into the pan and then we're gonna add some milk so that we can get almost uh, like a cheese sauce consistency or if you will, um, cheese whiz consistency. So when I come back, we'll put the milk in and we'll get the two melted together. Let's begin to put some milk into our cheese. Melt the two together. I'd like to say to start off with about a cup, okay? And if at any time you feel like it's a little too thick, go ahead and just add some more, okay? I never really measure the milk because honestly you can't go wrong, okay? So now let's get this nice and hot. Once it gets hot, we're then gonna come in with our cream of chicken and our rotel, and we're gonna mix those together. And I'll show you how much of the spice you're gonna need for this recipe. Our cheese is about 90% of the way melted. You can take a look at the consistency. And like I said, please feel free to add more milk if you feel like it's too thick. This is perfect and it smells so good. So now what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and add two cans of your cream of chicken. If you like cream of celery or you like cream of mushroom, you can use that too. Okay, so I'm gonna put two cans in. Let's get all that lovely goodness out. Uh, my family's super excited for this. Now, there are times where I'll put jalapenos in this recipe, or sometimes my husband will put jalapenos right on top of his chicken spaghetti that way. Okay, gorgeous. So now that we have that out, next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add two cans of the Rotel, mild, original or the hot, whichever one floats your fanny, okay? 
this way and we mix this stuff right here it tastes so good oh when you combine these ingredients it tastes so good there have been times in the past where when i make this recipe i chop up a little bit of onion and bell peppers and put it in there but really you don't need it okay just have fun with the recipe okay so we're gonna let this cook down for about five minutes we're gonna come back season it up really well so now that we let the rotel, the cream of chicken, I cook with the cheese mixture, let's season it. Don't be afraid to season it well. Give it some good flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with salt. If you can't use salt, just leave it out. Beautiful. We're gonna put some black pepper. And at this point, if you wanted to put the jalapenos in there or red pepper flakes, go ahead, have fun with it. That's garlic powder. I put a nice amount in there. A Little bit of paprika, it's not smoked. Okay, let's mix this together. Oh, I know. I wish you guys could smell it. I know. I know. There's somebody out there. Your stomach is a rumbling right now. And I get it. I totally get it. It should be. Get that lovely chicken in. Let's bring this all up to a nice temperature. And in the meantime, let me talk about how I cooked uh, my spaghetti noodles. Uh, so what I'd like to do is I start out with hot water and I'll salt it very well to give the spaghetti some nice flavor. Once the water begins to boil, I put my noodles in, cook it for 11 minutes, and it turns out perfectly and al dente every time, which is chewy to the tooth, never mushy. So now let's bring this up to temperature and then our gorgeous spaghetti right here goes in and then everything goes into our baking dish we're going to cook this on you can cook it on 350 or 375 and don't forget we got to load the top with shredded cheese let's begin to stir in this gorgeousness of a sauce onto the noodles now when you're making this at home what's great is you can use as least noodles as you would like or as much noodles. Look how it comes together. Oh, I could eat it just like that. And you know what? Honestly, really you can. So if you decide that you don't want to bake it in the oven, maybe your oven's not working. You can eat it this way and it's super delicious, okay? Because everything's cooked. Everything's cooked. All you got to do is heat it up, right? You can eat it like that. But today we're going to bake it into the oven and put that sharp cheddar onto the top and let it bake uncovered if you cover this with foil it will steam and get watery and that's the last thing that we're looking for so i'm going to put just a little bit more noodles in and then we're going to get this into the baking dish and into the oven we have our mixture into our pan let's go ahead and flatten it out a little bit look how creamy dreamy oh <laughs> preheat your oven 350 or 375 all right, gorgeous. Oh my goodness, you could actually taste it right now. See how delicious it is. And put your favorite cheese. If your favorite cheese is provolone, it may be hot pepper, pepper jack, mozzarella. Use your favorite cheese, okay? I'm going to put some paprika on there just to make it gorgeous, right? And then also we're going to put some uh, parsley flakes just to finish it off, okay? Looks like we're going to use the whole bag of cheese, and I'm okay with that gorgeous okay parsley flakes make it pretty <laughs> not coming out for me get out of there there we go and some paprika into the oven and when i come back guess what you're gonna get that first bite we're gonna say an amazing prayer you'll get to see how it plates up Take a look at it, everybody. Jenny Young style, delicious chicken spaghetti. Make you so. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family, tell your friends, tell everyone you know what Jeannie Young's doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Lord, I thank you for this beautiful meal. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. All right, watch, watch what happens. Oh, somebody's excited. Is it you? Oh my. Woo. All right, can you guys hear the dogs in the background? They're making a really interesting noise. Oh man, that's the type of spaghetti I want. I know it is, and that's why I had to bring you all this amazing recipe. Jeannie Young's down. Get on the spoon. Y'all, I'll be right back.
Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. Look at that. Beautiful. Tastes better even the next day too. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Yes. Palette on. All right. And for those that wanted to take a bite, I'm about to give you some right now, right off of this plate. Come on in. Take a big old bite. God bless. Thanks for watching. Good night.